random stranger I've never even had a conversation with. So we did, and right away he texts me, and he's like, I want to talk about sex. And I was like, I don't know you. I don't want to have that conversation with someone I don't know. It doesn't mean anything to me. He's like, well, everybody makes sex out to be such a bad thing. It's not. I never said that. No, I just said I don't want to have that conversation great with you. Thing. Sex is a terrific thing. It's wonderful. Sex is a great right? thing. But not with just random strangers that you never even you know, spoke to. It's different. It is great. Whether you're big or small, all Absolutely. sizes, we, we Absolutely. all can enjoy it. Whether you're XXL <laughs> or small. <laughs> but we're going to give them names, XL, Janie. Yeah, we are going to give them names. So what are we going to call them? giving them names. What are we going to call their names? Like, well, you can, like fantasy. small, you can be like, Bob, Mike, no, Lewis. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But you it can know, be like, like, like Steve. <laughs> I don't know if we want to give them male names because then people could take that offensively. We have to come up with something okay, that's not okay. like a name name. So you can we'll do like Ramrod. Ramrod 1. <laughs> Ram, and then all the different gradations. Okay. We don't want to give them numbers. Are you the Chevy, the Dodge, <laughs> the Mercedes? Oh, yeah. Well, that, yeah, that would put them in, a, in their place. But talking about dreams and things like that, we have a special person here tonight that can, that can talk to us and tell us about some dreams. Awesome! And she we was like on these. the show before. She's really, really a fantastic M Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Come sit with us. Matilda, uh -huh. sorry. Matilda, get your phone call. come on over. Come We're going to take the phone call while Matilda gets oh, comfortable. I'm good. Hello, Hello good Hi. evening. Uh, I have a person that, you know, I, you know sometimes, uh, I, you know, I like to masturbate. Okay. Okay, right. so we have a person who likes to masturbate. Thanks and for you sharing. And that's nothing wrong with that. There isn't, but there's a time and place. Okay, but he Especially may be home place. right now having a good time. <laughs> he could be in the home, in the privacy of his home, and he just wanted to let us know, hey, Listen, thinking about you. Listen, there's nothing wrong, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure. All well, of he us. Nervous and hung up on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too bad. We oh, wanted to hear the whole up. story. Oh, that's a shame. So, oh, I like Beetle. Oh, Matilda. We can make this the Beetle. Okay. We can make like the Beetle, the Ladybug. Everybody oh, knows that's Matilda. Pretty, the here? butterfly. Yay. Hi. Hi. Matilda, how are you? I am good. I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, <laughs> nice to have you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Talk about masturbation. What <laughs> happens? What does it mean if you dream about masturbation? What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> that you're alive, that you're, you're a sexual human being, that you're into pleasure, uh -huh. okay. ex ex physical pleasure. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and it feels great. Mm -hmm. so Just have those batteries ready. Hi. Bob. <laughs> That's what we call him, Bob. Battery operated Bob. boyfriend. Oh, oh, listen to that. Well, you never heard that before? No. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Oh, you never heard of Bob. We have a phone call. Hello, phone caller. This is Larry. Hi, Larry. Where are you from? I'm from New York. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. You have a question? Uh, I, I like to masturbate. Okay. Awesome. Very good. I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, called public, so, it's called self-pleasure. In the public, I like to look at somebody smoke. Oh. Oh, that's like a fantasy, right? Or is yeah, one... like, you, like imagine if you, if you smoke, I like to look at you. Interesting. Interesting. Is that male or female, ask him. Is, you, you, so you like seeing women smoke? Yes. Oh. See, well, why is that? that? No, that's, I mean, that's no, interesting. No, I've well, never heard you're, that you're associating, uh, I, I guess, uh, well, you know, maybe Matilda has a better idea on the imagery that goes with that. Okay. And I it, just, I just not, for a fact, uh, do you think, the do old you time think, move. Do you think you could smoke? Do you think I could smoke? I could yeah. smoke you under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be smoking. <laughs> Excuse me? You, you think you could smoke a cigarette? Uh, you were smoking in the video. I was smoking in the video. I, oh, okay. I, I smoke my own meats. Does that, does that count? Does that count? I don't know. Uh, I, would, I would like to say she smoked a cigarette. Uh, we're you'll have to fantasize studio. about that. You'll have, have to come to yeah. goddesses and see me at Blaggards and see if I smoke or not. Yeah, because we can't do that in the studio. Yeah. You smoke those funny oh, cigarettes I like to me a lot. Yeah, I smoke the colored <laughs> cigarettes. The ones that are different colors. They're, they're, mm. I think I forgot the name of them. 
I would like to see you uh, smoke. Sure. All right. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing your uh, fantasy with us. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs> good evening. Okay. Bye -bye. Goodbye, Larry. <laughs> Okay. Right on there. That's a first. No, I heard look, 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 let's not smoke. mock it. I no, no, no. Something. No, I, I, I get where it's coming from, why that would be a turn on, but it's the first I've ever heard of it. No, I, it's, it's not no, a first I've seen for me. No, for me. It's not a first for me. It is for me. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's the manifestation of something that, one, it could be like something that you're not supposed to do, that it's bad. Okay. You know, there's, those are the, like, the association of the woman. And who's also like, doing it in places where it's not usually supposed to be done. Right. People find it as a challenge and they just it gets okay. turned down. Right. Well, I can also figure. Oral. Exactly. Oral fixation, that's the word. That was it. Or, wow. And it's a stick. All exactly. right, so that's it. They Matilda just want to see how dreams. your lips wrap around that bad boy. Oh, wow. <laughs> hips. Talk about hips. It'll get smothered, that cigarette. <laughs> Matilda that cigarette? wants to know, does anyone here have a dream that they'd like to... Uh, do you have oh, a dream? Oh, yeah. Oh, dream. Look dream. at her. He, you Joe, you, you had a dream. dream. Oh, we want to hear. I a dream about two of the ladies that come to goddesses. I won't say who they are. I'm walking down the street in Astoria in my dream, and they were hooking. And I was shocked. I know they have decent jobs. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and what do you think about that, Matilda? Well, first of all, Joe, what does that mean to you? I don't know. <laughs> well, you, well, you were walking. A walking is a, 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 a form of transportation. So you, it's, it's one of the slowest because you could run, you could jog, you could ride a car or a bicycle, that's faster. Mm -hmm. So your mode of transportation is, is rather slow. And then you see two women. Mm -hmm. uh, women, what, what does women mean to you? Women. <laughs> yeah, what does that okay. mean? Is it mother, is it sister, is it cousin? There were two clientele of, of, the, of the club that I run. Okay, so the woman is... And at first I didn't know that's what they were doing. I'm, I'm like, I'm seeing them, oh, they're in the street, and I keep walking, and I look back, and they bend over in the window of a car, and I'm like, oh, they're hooking. <laughs> okay. But maybe they were asking for directions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. Well, right. Oh, they were hooking. But So there's two of them. That's duality. Okay. Immediately, when, when you see... That's because they hang out together all the time. Okay. You see one, you see the other, freaking frack. Mm -hmm. But they're in your dream, so that, for you, that means First duality. Time. So it's, it, it usually is the male-female within you. Yes. Yes. Okay. That so, makes sense. so you were able to see them outside of yourself, and they identified themselves in a hooking kind of a situation. You know, they were either soliciting in your in your thinking, in your because Jane said they could have been asking for directions, but in your thinking, they were hooking. They were right. looking for. And it was obvious because there were other ladies around that were obviously more obviously hookers than them. Uh huh. And they were like among that group. Okay. So they were hooking by association? Yeah, exactly. sure. And it's his dream, yes. So two parts of you <laughs> that are female, they're into this mode of uh, behavior. This is what they're looking for. They, they go... I don't hook. Uh-huh. But the female within you might look a hook in the dream. Right. Okay. It what were they wearing? Hooker clothes. <laughs> What's hooker clothes? Yes, like, can you describe it? Very skimpy clothes, revealing Very a lot of heels. skin. <laughs> mini, mini, mini dress. If they move the wrong, well, mini skirt. If they move the wrong way, they're showing what they're not supposed to be showing. Okay. With very revealing tops. Um, so, okay. so you have anything like it's, this? It's, no, oh, listen it's to not this. club clothes. It's hooking clothes. It's a difference. It's the difference. Yeah, there is a difference. Hooking clothes is, is not acceptable in, even in a club. <laughs> okay, so is it very tight fitted? <laughs> Very revealing. Ultra revealing. Ultra. Right. And what colors did they have? I think one was wearing gold. Gold. And gold. Oh, listen to that. Wow. Gold and silver. Janie has gold nails. No, oh, outfit. silver. Outfit. Outfits. Uh huh. And they have a heart of gold. Listen to her. I think they were the hooker with a heart of gold. Else of gold. Hooker with a heart of gold. Mm hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Vagina of gold. Ah, look where he oh, goes. I can't believe he just said Joey. that. You see where and he goes? And you have the golden ticket. Good. Okay. Golden ticket. Ticket, yes. Mm -hmm. Is ticket. that what you call it golden nowadays? fingernails. I call it the treasure but of the Sierra thank Madre. Thank you, Joey, for <laughs> sharing <laughs> that with us. Of the I, thank Madre. you for sharing it, Joey. You had a dream. Were you going to ask Matilda something? No, yeah, um, yes, actually. Yes. I, I had a dream. Um, 
that I, um, the reality, you know, I'm involved with someone in, in a certain capacity, but then I dreamt about somebody else, and it was like a, a, a chaste kiss. <laughs> oh, how does a chaste kiss look like if you were to do it? <laughs> do it to the camera. And you ran? A very, very chaste, very pure, Mwah. very yeah. innocent. Yeah. Uh huh. Very, very innocent, but I know that this other uh, person doesn't have, like, I wouldn't say they're. We're not innocent. We're old birds, you of know. Of course, but there's a part of you that's always innocent, always the childlike within you. Oh. Yes, but but this is not the person that you're presently w involved with. No. All right. So there's a desire in your heart to continue that. The one I the one I kissed. Mm, yeah, because yeah, that's the one. Sense. That's the one within the dream. Oh. So you, there's a part of, a part of you mm -hmm. still desiring that. You know, to pursue that experience. Okay. And was that it? Were any words exchanged? No. That was no. it. Was it night? Was it day? Was it indoors, outdoors? Outside during the day. Outside during the day. So it was very chaste, very pure yeah. for, for, for the public to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever you did, there's nothing shameful about it. Not at all. I have no shame. No, of course. <laughs> 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 all right. And Thanks how? <laughs> and the ones in your dream as well. <laughs> um, no, when you woke up, uh -huh. did you notice the feeling that you had? Um, I was just disappointed. Because why? Because I normally don't have dreams like that at all. Mm -hmm. And so it was like somebody that I had dismissed. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like, what are you doing here? What are you doing back in my life, yeah. in my dream life? In my dream. Because, you know, that is a, a life in itself. To, to, you, it's a continuation, really. It's, it's part of who you are. Your dreams. In your dreams. How, however, you don't have access to them all the time. You may dream and not remember them. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That does happen often. It ha yes. Okay. So, um, there's, um, do you find yourself that you, you enjoy kissing? Oh yes, that's my own oral fixation. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Some I agree smoke. With that. Some, uh, so your own. I agree with that. Your own unconscious. And the so smooshy, smooshy, this is. Yeah. Uh huh. Love it. So that your own unconscious was attempting to satisfy that need within you. It's a it's a need. Okay. Even though it may be kind of in the back burner, mm -hmm. but it's still a dream. And that was it. That was it. Okay. Mm. Wow. Interesting, Jamie. Very interesting. I have okay. to make a phone call. Oh. Show. I, I so rarely <laughs> remember my dreams. Uh -huh. If I ever do remember it, it's like for a brief second when I wake up, but if I don't write it down, it's gone. I just, I don't remember. I don't sleep well to begin with, mm -hmm. so like when I wake up, a lot of times I'm very kind of out of it. All right. So it, it's hard for me because sometimes I'll have a dream and it'll be very strange. Mm -hmm. And I'll wake up and I'll be like, what was that? But you can't remember it like 20 minutes later, so you can never really figure out what it was trying to signify. Mm -hmm. The dreams are very elusive. They leave you right, right unless you write them down or unless you're disciplined to remember them. Like I, uh, uh, upon awakening, I say, oh, have I dreamt? What did I dream about? Let's say I don't remember. Then something in my environment sparks the memory. It brings it back. And I go, oh. And then I begin to write it immediately, yes. Huh. Right. That sounds like a good So point. you could do that so you can kind of train yourself to remember your dreams. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. I oh, would that's actually interesting. be interested in that. Very mm -hmm. nice. Because there's been a couple times I've had some real doozies, just like I wake up in the morning, what the hell is that? Ooh, we cool. have a phone call. It may okay. be in a question for you. Okay. Hello, phone caller. Uh, sometimes I have uh, fantasies with women. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what did you say? I think it's Larry. Sometimes I have fantasies with women. That's a secret guy. Hey, Larry. Larry, it's you again. What yeah. See? Uh, I have fantasy with women. I don't Could know. you elaborate? I, I, what does he say? Something about women. He has a fantasy women. with women, but that's all he's saying. He's not explaining what the fantasy Maybe is. Maybe that's abnormal for him. Yeah, uh, so. He, uh, he's uh, he's no, you're you naked. Oh, so you have fantasies about naked women. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean. That just makes you a dude. Exactly. That just makes you a guy. Like every even guy a dream. thinks it's like that. Matilda, what do you well, say? Well, a fantasy yeah, can yeah, be treated as that. a dream. Can, did you hear that? A fantasy can be treated as a dream. Now, is it a fantasy always with women and they're naked? Or do you have yeah. other... I have a fantasy with a kissing. 
Okay, Larry. Are you, all right, well, here's the question. I mean, not to be, like, I don't mean it to be rude or anything like but are you normally interested in men or are you normally interested in women? So are your dreams abnormal for you because generally you tend to prefer men or do you prefer women and this is just a continuance of it? No, women, women, women. Okay. Okay. Well, that's well. It sounds like he's a normal man. It sounds yeah. like you're he's guy. dreaming. Uh, that's all it sounds like to me, at least. Mm. Well, thank you, my president. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Bye, Larry. Goodbye. But a, a, a fantasy. Or uh, you know how when we desire to do something, so we imagine it. Mm -hmm. Even that imagination can be treated as a dream. Oh. You can, you can okay. Look. So you could imagine it and fantasize about it. Yes. You, anything you fantasize, because remember, what is a dream? It's it's presented to you in pictorial form. It it always and it carries some words. Okay. okay. So and in a dream, it, you, it could be night, could be day. You could be dressed, you could be naked, you could be in a, in a situation that's considered appropriate. Other times you may be undressed or dressed inappropriately. Then you, you look at the colors in the dream. Each color has a meaning, uh, an emotional meaning, a, a chakra meaning. Okay. So, so the, the, for instance, um, Nancy, you had, may I? Oh, share red, dream? about red, red long hair. Uh -huh. mm. It was a dream okay, someone it was else had someone. about me oh. that I had red long hair. So Nancy presented that dream, and I said to Nancy, "Well, really, it's the other person's dream. Right. So I would need to speak with that person what exactly. it means to them. Mm -hmm. But that person dreamt about Nancy with long red hair. So then we got to talking, and so it's hair. And I gave her the comparison of Samson and Delilah, uh -huh. that his energy, his strength, his uh -huh. vitality uh -huh. was in his hair. Right. Now, that, you have that uh, in your memory already. It's, it's vitality, it's life, it's energy. Then it's red on top of it, it's red. Red is symbolic of passion, the sun, so the energy. next time I come on the set, I have to have red hair. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, there you go, oh, Nancy. red. <laughs> yes, and so, uh, and what does hair mean to you? It's your crown and glory. And, you know, we, we attribute a lot of beautiful okay. things to, to hair. So, so color has a lot to do with uh, life, so you know, yes. what you wear and mm -hmm. feel. When you're saying, like, fantasies and stuff like that, if it's just something that you're contemplating, like if a situation presents itself to you, mm -hmm. and it's something you're just thinking about, whether that would be a situation to involve yourself in, would that still be considered almost like a dream or a yes, fantasy? Yes, because you're create. Okay, you're creating it uh, on a conscious level, but you're still creating. The dream okay. gets created for you through your own subconscious. Okay, now and supposedly many people believe the dreams are given to us by God. Okay, okay. they're messages. Th so there's a, always a message. If you for instance, uh, I desire to achieve something and I create a board. It's called a vision board. Okay. So whatever I, I have inside my, 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 my soul, my, my mind, I can project it and put it out there and put it, it. In, in a pictorial way. You can look at that and I can read it for you instantly. Well, I, I used to do, um, we had ladies come to the house and cut magazines up and uh, cut out certain words, certain pictures, and they would just post it on this 10 by 11 or larger. And, and they're so busy cutting and pasting, they're not really thinking, they're looking through magazines, but the finished product tells a story. And then when okay. I, that makes perfect sense, right? actually. And when it's I was what caught their eye, what how and how they put it moment. together. Interesting, yes. See, but that, but it was visual. random because remember, it was what they saw in the magazine. If they happened to see it, sometimes they would go through many magazines, and it was um, spontaneous. Let's say. I like that. Yes, and so it tells a story, and then you need someone that knows how to interpret that story. So I would use dream work, which is very similar because it's pictures we telling a story. That. We should it's very do that. interesting. I would really think that would be a really cool thing to do, Nancy. Like me and Janie, like sit around with a bunch of magazines. Yes. All of us flip through them, make this board, and have her like actually. Read it, yes. Read it oh, we would have to do that before the show. Because yeah, that would take a next, long no, time. Oh, that like takes a very show. long time. Like mine show. mine like would only cool. have like, like men. <laughs> like men, okay. Men, you would just cut out all the men. But, but, but with yeah. words. You, you need some words. 
You need one word, Janie. Oh, you can write it in if you don't Janie, find it. Janie has one word for that. No, uh, fun. 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 Oh, okay, so you're fun filled. All right. <laughs> See, like yes. I channel my creative thinking and my stuff like that into like the crafts and the yeah, things that I do. Yeah, you like, do. You're very that creative. Stuff. That, and sometimes it's actually to my detriment because I get so caught up in things that I kind of lose what I'm doing. But it's interesting, you see, just by looking at this Those immediately. Those are torture, though. It, it, immediate, the color. I'm, I'm re oh, the colors I'm are I'm referring pretty. to the color, so immediately you pick blue and pink, did you notice? Mm -hmm. So instantly, usually we, we associate blue with men and, and pink, pink with women. women I, right? That's exactly that's why I picked those two colors, Look, look at that. Okay, oh. so you see, I, I would pick that up immediately. So colorful things show fun and, yeah. and yes, because exciting. Yes, Yes, it's that's alive. It's being that. alive in and nature. And being alive, yeah, that's that's a fun color. Nature has all the colors, really, yeah. the, the entire spectrum. It's so I'm really amazed. Well, it's that just one that color in different wavelengths. Oh, oh wonderful! So yes. you, it, and it's but interesting no, that I you should that say color. that. Um, once that when I, really I was studying color. art, we were giving an assignment and said, you can only use one color, but we could use black and white, not considered colors. So then we had different shades of ah, that okay. one color with the black, one, that one color with the white, and you can create a... Now, if someone wanted to get in touch with you, uh, how would they get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Uh, no, I, I took it down, Nancy, but let them get in touch with you. Okay, All right? because uh, you're fun and, and about oh, yeah. dreams and... Absolutely. Uh, Matilda's very very talented. That. That's very exactly talented. what I was yes. thinking when it, I made this. Isn't that interesting? But exactly what I was But do you notice what she's thinking comes out in her work? Exactly. Because yes. it, it can. And, and, and yeah, she's very creative. Mm -hmm. And talking about being creative, uh, big beautiful women. Saturday night, we're going to be in Manhattan in New York City. So viewers Saturday. out there, come and have a great time with us. And uh, we're there on Saturdays. And check out the website and the phone number at the end of the show. And Janie, if possible, I don't know if you could make it this week, but uh, when you I can, can. Uh, I mean, you know, it, it depends. Day. If the fans call, yes. if they clap really hard, we'll clap hard. Oh, you can no, show. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's what you're thinking about, like in Peter Pan. Yeah. yeah. Really hard. yeah. Exactly. But yes, Janie, believe. thank you for showing up tonight. My and pleasure. I know you're doing My a lot pleasure. of uh, a lot of things, uh, it's so good and your to career see is this booming. Is true. And yeah. it's actually, we're getting there. We're getting there. Right? You, she's in videos. As Do you, you know saw. that she sings? I oh no, I she sings her. great. Yes, and she could in dance. The wow. She's a great performer. W wonderful. I mean, she she's done a lot, a lot of work. And talent. Talent. How many years have you been an actress? How many years? I mean. You've been performing for quite I'm a while. I'm an old bird, yeah. Man. You're not an old What's bird. What's an old you're, bird? You're, I'm, I'm old. No. I'm younger than you. Not old. <laughs> Wait, I'm seasoned. Just gonna say right no. I'm Wait. seasoned. But Janie, I was just gonna say she says she's is an old very bird, talented. I did a couple of shows so with her what here does that make and me? at Goddess. No, no, it's not that. I mean, I've been performing since I was oh. for like twenty. Some odd years. Well, oh, since okay. you were a young little girl. Yeah, since I was a little girl. Yes. And, and you heard her singing today? Yes, in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> in the bathroom. Well, yeah, That's where I do sings. my best work is in the I bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I do my yes. singing karaoke. <laughs> That's where I have fun. So we want to thank all the viewers for watching us, and we want to thank everybody for being here today. And, and this has been a fun thank show, you. and <laughs> we had a lot of fun. And with Matilda, I, I never get tired of listening to the That's dreams. Nice. Uh, the dreams of Dreams, dreams are, are really fun, great. actresses are fun, big beautiful women are fun, and those FAs, don't be shy out there. So if you had one word to tell the guys out there, what would you say? Uh, live. Live it up, have a great time, and uh, you know right. where to find And don't Nancy. be shy. And don't be shy. Don't be shy, come out. Holla and, at and your girls. Exactly. How yeah. about don't you? Don't let others choose what you want. Exactly, and Matilda? Am I, live your dream. Exactly. Live your dream. Be happy yes. and accept yourself on oh, who you are, not what you exactly. look like. And only you can change what you want to change. And Larry, no one else. Larry, fly your oh freaking flag, Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry, <laughs> Larry, fly, Larry has fly, fantasies fly, fly and dreams. Fly your freak and, and that was, it's making him happy. So yeah. why not? Why that's not fantasize as long as you're not important. hurting anybody else? Exactly. No. I mean, if he's going up to random women that are smoking and attacking him, that's something different. <laughs> and but, Yourself you yourself know, as you are. Absolutely. She's nude, naked, but there's nothing wrong with that. I, I Not would say at all. just love yeah. yourself. She kind of reminds you me of Sally. Yeah. Oh, really? Doesn't she? All right.
That's what yeah. you're so we love you all. Yeah. Keep watching Goddesses. We throw a big kiss at you. Mwah. Yeah. And keep watching us. And next month we'll be celebrating and coming here all dressed up. Uh, oh, yeah. How yes, I'll be Halloween. here with the red oh. hair and we'll all have costume on. Red hair. Ooh. Yes. Now, maybe we have to come with costume. I'm coming month? as a hooker. <laughs> See, yeah, Joey, I, I already dream. have my dress. Oh, yes. I actually think I'm going to come as a hooker. I've never well, done Well, anyway, I've come as a diva. I'm coming as a diva. I'm a hooker. In your I've heart. I've always kind of wanted to dress like that. But thank you, viewers. I have a dream. But yeah. So we're going to have fun every every month here. So viewers, if you want to come and watch, you can sit in the audience and participate. And exactly. Jenny, if you can come next month, Inshallah. hopefully you'll be available. And I'm God gonna bless you. I'm gonna try to. And thank you for watching Goddesses. And bye don't bye. forget bye. Saturday night. Ciao. Everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Woo! Yeah. Very good.